Rose, what are you reading right now? Okay, I'm reading Slay. And uh, what's Slay about? It's about, well, I'm only like 50 pages in, but it's about this girl and she basically, she made this game, this virtual game based on African-American in their culture and just so is it is it an online game is that what it is yeah and so can people play together in the in the world is that yeah but it's all it said on the little book thingy that something happens and some somebody um threatens to hack the game and Ooh. says that she's anti-white for the game and i don't know it just talks about what an african-american female goes through when she tries to let her voice be heard, I guess. That's amazing. That sounds so cool. Now, tell me again, she is the creator of the game? She made the game on her own? Yeah. And and she's a teenager, right? Yeah. How did that make you feel reading about a, a female teenager who did something so cool like that? Well, I reread the page when she said she made the game herself because I didn't know that she made it herself from the from the book blurb or whatever. But it's cool. I couldn't do it. I'm not smart enough for that. I bet you could. I bet you could. <laughs> do you have an interest in coding? No. That is that's not my strong suit either. I am I am definitely too right brained for that. Or wait, is it left brain? I don't know. The side that's creative, that's me. The side that's all math and coding, that's not me at all. <laughs> so um, what drew you to Slay? The fact that it's called Slay. Yes. <laughs> it's got an awesome title and the cover is really cool too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember seeing that one when it came in and it's kind of like pastel pinks, but it's just got this really powerful girl on the cover. I love yeah, that. It's that's so awesome. The cover too. Mm -hmm. It just stood out. What do you usually like to read about? Are you usually like a fantasy person? Do you like action? I read. I don't know. I like to read books I relate to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're boring. How do, you, how do you pick books that you relate to? Like, what's something that you would relate to when you were reading Like, it? I'm not about to go read some book about, I don't know, old people or something. <laughs> wouldn't want to read a book about old people why <laughs> nah because i don't relate to that <laughs> okay here's the best question how old is old what <laughs> what's the cutoff <laughs> mm, probably like i don't know i'm not reading about anybody over 30 <laughs> so I love well, that's, that. not old. that's not old though but still I can I completely understand because you are a teenager, so that is not something you would relate to. Having a day job is not probably on your to read list right now. No. <laughs> I love that brutal honesty. Old is thirty. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> now we know that that's the you don't relate to old people. Got that. So what's no. something else that you would relate to? Is it like modern um, fiction, urban fiction? Yeah, that's that's what I like to read because I relate to it more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I don't like I don't like action books and like books about vampires and stuff. That doesn't I would get bored. It's more like a a modern sort of like realistic. Yep, yeah, realistic uh, fiction. So what other books have you read besides Slay? Because Slay, I actually started reading that one, but now it got moved over to my to read pile. But I was really excited to read that. I've read a lot of books, but my favorite book is called, uh, I think it's, I haven't read it in like a couple of years, but I think it's called Tyler Johnson Was Here. And okay. It's, it's about these two twins and they go to a party and one dies by a cop killing yes. and somebody got it on camera and it's just a whole thing it was my favorite book it made me cry though but I think that might be in one of the collections that we brought so if you wanted to read it again I'm pretty sure that that was one of them we brought that cover too yeah. dang that cover is powerful with all the flowers on it and it's just I love that book. yeah so what drew you to that one 
Um, I was talking to a librarian and I tried to explain to her like what type of books I like and she told me I should try to read that one. So I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really do like those books that are heavier. I don't necessarily want to cry, but if I do, it's it's good. That's fine with me. Well, I felt stupid because like I was in placement and my staff comes in. I'm sitting there holding a the book, just crying and crying. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so hard, isn't it? It's so hard to explain because you just get so emotionally attached to these characters and these. Right. I feel like I know them or something. Like I know what's going on. <laughs> yep. Have um have you read anything? Um, The Hate You Give is another one that would be something similar to that. Have you read that one? Yep. I read that. How did you feel about that one? Um I mean, that made me cry, too. <laughs> yep. but I like that one, too. It's just I see the movie a lot. So, like, I only read it once. How do you feel the movie stacks up against the book? Like, which one was better? The movie? The movie was better? <laughs> I don't even really like reading like that, but. <laughs> That's all right. You're being honest with your answers. It's fine. I won't take it to heart that you like the movie better. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Have you read anything um, by Elizabeth Acevedo? She writes everything in verse. And so like poetry and things. Um, does she write um, Impulse and them? That is Ellen Hopkins. But those are also very good. Do you yeah, like that? I've, I've read some of those. Mm -hmm. But... I don't really read like poetry. Really? Okay. I just, I don't really read a ton of books in verse either. Um, some really popular authors. So Elizabeth, Elizabeth Acevedo, she wrote um, The Poet X, which is another one in the collections that we brought. And then there is Jason Reynolds, who wrote um, Long Way Down. And that's also in verse. Some people really like it. And some people are like, meh, meh. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. Yep. So what else? What other things have you read that you've really connected with? Um, I like the Chain Reaction series. Tell me about that one. It's been a long time since I have... I haven't read them, but since I, like, thought about them. <laughs> there's, um, there's three books, and each one is a different brother. And like the, they all tie together somehow because they're siblings. Mm -hmm. And so each character will be in the next book. And you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's basically just about these, um, these Mexican brothers and just stuff they go through with being in a gang and trying to make it out. And then when one made it out, the other one got jumped in in the next book. And then... Mm -hmm. It's like it's like that. So that kind of that kind of goes along with what you typically like to read, the modern kind of urban fiction stuff. Do you feel like you connected to the brothers on some level? When I read it, I'm more connected to his girlfriend. He had a white <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> so I like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did she play a big role in the books? Yeah, a big role. She changed his whole like life. Like she helped him get his stuff together yeah that's pretty amazing that's really powerful you know and that's kind of the cool thing about reading is that you can see different people in different places but still connect on different levels like you did with the girlfriend it might not be the main character but you were still able to connect somehow that's really awesome i keep finding it interesting because you say things like i'm not really a reader or i don't read but you've read a lot of books <laughs> <laughs> so you know how many times I get locked up what else I'm gonna do <laughs> hey like, I love that you're spending it that way though reading is great so you've talked about a couple of your favorite books do you have a favorite book that you had when from when you were like a kid like how little you can you, picture books even if you want whatever you think of um <laughs> I, had this, I had this one book you know them books about like it's like daddy and me and stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so I, I used to read that book because um I didn't have a dad and <laughs> I just wanted to read it oh how did that make you feel did you did you feel connected in that book or how do you feel about um, that 
I don't know why I would read that, <laughs> but I don't know. I just always read it. Like, I don't know. It just made me feel like better. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Just like, but then again, it, it would make me sad, but then my mom would be petty and buy me mom books. So <laughs> yeah. that's both. That's so sweet of her to be like, here, I'm here for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's very sweet. Um, so what other books do you remember from when you were a kid? I had this one fairy tale book. It's like, it's really expensive because it's really old. And my grandma gave it to my mom. And my mom gave it to me. I was supposed to give it to my kids. Aww. But it's like a fairy tale book. It has all the fairy tales, but they're like the original stories. And like the pages are like gold. Oh, and that's so wonderful. Yeah, that was my favorite book. I don't even like touch it anymore because I want to like keep it safe. I love, I love that that you're gonna pass that book down through the generations. That's so beautiful. Because yeah. that means, I mean, that's such a precious keepsake. Did you have a favorite fairy tale? Are, so when you say they're the originals, are they like the ones with the like the dark <laughs> versions or? <laughs> no, it's like you know how like the Cinderella story and stories like that will get mixed up. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. the, they modify or whatever like mm -hmm. it's like the original ones and it's you can tell it's old by the paintings and stuff this is cool but did you have a favorite fairy tale that you like to read no just whatever my mom read to me i just liked <laughs> that's so sweet i just love it you're passing this book down through the generations your mom read to you through this fairy tale book it's just so precious and i just just love it. That's really great. <laughs> well, I think it's really interesting too to hear you talk about how like even like fictitious characters that weren't present in your life, like look, maybe it was Little Critter or whoever's dad, right? It sounds like you've connected with multiple generations through the fairy tale book, you know, and that's like as librarians, that's a big thing that we like to tell grownups, like read with your kid. It's an experience. It's not just a it story. It definitely is. And then now I think you mentioned, you know, you've been, you've been there a couple times and all you have to do is read, but like, it's another method of connecting. And I'm really glad that you had those experiences when you were younger. So now when you're reading now, like you still have a connection, whether it's to like other people, other stories, or just even like the world side of those walls you're in right now do you have anything else you want to add um, what's just if you had to tell somebody something about reading it's not as bad as it seems to be and if you find something you like then it can be fun and a stress relief because it really mm -hmm. I think it mm -hmm. really can be like therapeutic do you have a favorite time of day that you like to read because that really. that's when I think about the most stuff that I don't want to think about Nighttime is definitely the time when my brain gets thinking about things too. So it's nice to be able to pick up a book and go someplace else, be somebody else, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. I loved your stories mm -hmm. about everything. If you really wanted to code, I bet you could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, 